Hi Team Self, I'm Amy and this is Reese and we have an awesome 30 minute boot camp workout for you today. You don't need any equipment, just a little bit of space and a lot of endurance. Here's what you can expect from this workout. Stationary lunges, squat thrusts, forearm plank reach outs, froggers, and we're gonna finish the whole thing off with a chipper burnout. We're gonna get started with a warm up. It's gonna be 30 seconds of moves back to back with no rest. Jumping jacks, 30 seconds, let's do this. Just nice and easy, just warming up. No need to take this very quickly. Just getting your heart rate up, just warming up your muscles here. If this is too much for you, you can even like jog it out right now. No big deal, right? This is your time, it's your workout. We got about 10 seconds left. Just keep moving. We're gonna go right into inchworms after this. Here we go, in one. Inchworms, very simple, hinging at the hip, coming down into a nice high plank. Pause here for a minute, walk it on back, bend the knees, roll right up to stand. Bending at the waist again, coming out, high plank, bring it right back on up. Only about 10 seconds left here. Come right back out, we have time for one more. And bring it on back. All right, next up we're gonna do hip openers. So we're gonna go down to the ground again, come out into that plank, swing one foot forward. And this is really your time to just warm up your hips. So if you wanna stay here for a minute, kind of rock back and forth, whatever feels good to you. And then bring it back and bring the other foot forward. How are you feeling, Reese? Feeling good. All right, that's good. Again, this is just your warm up, so no need to take this quickly. All right, and three, two, one. And now we're gonna do mountain climbers. So here from your high plank, you're just gonna knee into your chest, just like Reese. Don't forget to breathe. Take it nice and slow. If you need to take a break, hold that high plank, if you can. If you really need a break, drop to your knees. But you only got about five seconds left. So keep going. And one, that's time. Woo. All right, so now take a deep breath, shake it out, feeling good. We have a full 60 seconds of rest here, and then we're gonna repeat that whole circuit one more time. All right, you should be feeling a little bit more loose now. Take this time, breathe, bring that heart rate back down a little bit. You feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling warm. All right, feeling warm, good. We're gonna get started again. We're gonna do that circuit one more time, that warm up one more time, and then we're gonna go into the workout. So we got about five more seconds. In five, four, three, two, and jumping jacks. Here we go. Nice and easy. Maybe you take it a little bit faster this time, but maybe not. It's totally up to you. Reese can take it faster if he wants. Uh. <laughs> Stay with us here. You've got about 15 more seconds. Again, if you ever need to stop at any point, take it down to that jog in place. Maybe shuffle back and forth. I just want you moving. I just want, I just want your muscles warming up here. Three, two, and one. Take it into that inchworm. We're gonna hinge at the hips. Come on down, walk it on out. Really tighten everything up in that plank and come on back to stand. Maybe if you're feeling adventurous this time, you give a push up, just one, and bring it on back and stand on up. You only have about 10 more seconds left. Squeeze in that plank, come on back up to stand. And now we're gonna take it back down into hip openers. So walk it out into that plank, swing that foot forward. And if you're really trying to do this, try to be light on that foot. Try not to just slam that foot onto the floor. Bring it back into the plank. Bring your right foot forward. Rock back and forth. Really feel that opening in your hips. Your hips take a lot of tension. You probably spend a long time sitting at a desk all day. 
This is really good to do at the end of a long day of work. All right, and now we'll go right into mountain climbers. It's your last move. So just bring your knee into your chest. Keep it nice and slow. Try to keep your shoulders right over your wrist. Try to keep your abs pulled in. You don't have much more here. Only about 10 more seconds. You feeling warm? Oh yeah, definitely. You ready to do a workout? Let's do it. All right, I'm ready too. We only have three, two, and one. All right. Stand on up. Catch your breath. Maybe squeeze in a quick sip of water. Now we're gonna go right into our workout. We just finished our warm up. You're feeling loose, you're feeling good. Let's get right into this workout. It's gonna be four rounds of a six move circuit and you're gonna do each move for 45 seconds, take a 15 second break and then go on to the next. I'll talk you through the moves as we go. We're gonna start with a stationary lunge with our left foot forward. 45 seconds on the clock and let's get started. Just down and up. Just right down and right back up. As you're doing this, I want you to think about keeping your hips tucked under, your abs are pulled in. I want you to think about keeping your chin up, your back straight. It's almost like a, there's a plank right behind your back that's like keeping you up. You're not leaning forward and you're not leaning back. Hands can stay on your hips. If you really want to challenge yourself, bring those arms up overhead. But I'm just going to leave them on my hips for now. Keep breathing. Only 10 more seconds of this, and then we're going to do the exact same thing with the other foot forward. Notice that I'm not moving at the same pace as Reese. It's totally fine. Reese is Superman. We're going to take a break now. Woo! Shake it out. Get ready. You've got about 10 seconds to set up for the next move, which is the exact same thing, other leg forward. Set it up. Take a deep breath. And here we go. Down and up, one more time. How are you feeling, Reese? Feeling good. All right, good. Now each time I'm coming down, just remember you're gonna try to keep your knee right over your ankle. You're gonna try to keep both knees to 90 degrees every time you go up and down. Squeeze your glutes every time as you lower and every time as you stand. Keep breathing through it. We only have about 10 seconds left. Three, two. Give me one more rep and you're done. All right, coming up next, we're gonna do squat thrusts. This is gonna kick it up a little bit more now, okay? Squat thrusts, really simple. You're just gonna jump back into a plank, jump forward and stand. I'll show you some modifications as we get started. So here we go, squat thrust. Down, back, jump in, squeeze at the top. Down, in, Squeeze at the top. Reese is gonna keep going with this. I'm gonna show you a modification. If you need to step back, take this down. Step forward, step forward, stand. Squeeze at the top. Down, step back. Pause in this plank position, come forward. Stand. But if you're like Reese and I, you just keep going here, nice and easy. No crazy jumps. You don't have to get wild. It's not a burpee. Those are gonna come later, aren't they? Oh yeah. <laughs> we know what's coming up. All right, take 15 seconds of rest. Catch your breath. Maybe squeeze in a quick sip of water. We're gonna go down to the floor and we're gonna do a forearm plank reach out. So, Reese is gonna get into a forearm plank position and we're gonna hold here and then you're just gonna tap. One arm forward, one arm back. Forward, forward. Now notice, you can take your feet pretty wide here. That's gonna make it a little bit easier for you. Because what you don't wanna do is be rocking your hips every time. You wanna to try to keep your hips as stable as possible. Woo! 
feeling this one. All right, five more seconds. And take a rest. Woo. All right, coming up next, we have froggers. Froggers are kind of like, I don't know, how would you say? It's like doing the hardest part of a burpee. For sure. It's kind of like you're gonna jump back and forth. It's kind of like doing a burpee without standing up. We'll show you now. So from a high plank, jump forward, come into a low squat. Jump back and forward. You can take this as fast or as slow as you want. Reese is gonna keep going. I'll show you a way to make this easier. Forward, hands release. They come up to a nice little prayer, kind of like a nice little yogi squat. Maybe you've done this in yoga before. And then come back. Forward, hands come to prayer so you get a little break. Back, maybe you step forward. This is your other modification. Step back, step forward. Notice my hands don't come up. Let's keep going. And time. Woo! All right. This is the last move of this circuit. It's going to be tuck ups. Sorry, we're going back down to the ground. <laughs> Just faked you out by standing up there for a minute. <laughs> tuck ups on your back, hollow hold, and tuck up. Here and come up. All that we're doing is just pulling our abs in and sitting up. You want to think about lightly touching your knees. I'm not grabbing here. I'm not like a basketball. And then I'm not putting my feet on the ground if I can help it. Think about keeping your abs pulled in really tight here so that your back is nice and straight. Only about 15 seconds left. I know you guys can do this. I know you've got this. You are almost done with your first circuit. Just keep it going. Don't think about it, just do it. And, whew. All right, that's it, that's your first circuit. Take 60 seconds of rest, towel off, get some water, and then we'll get started with our second circuit. like your heart rate has come down just a little bit, we're gonna get right back into it. We're gonna do that same circuit again. You've got three more rounds, and we're gonna get started with our, our stationary lunges in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, same as before. You've been here before. Coming down and coming right back up. Making sure that your abs are pulled in, your hips are tucked under, your gaze is straight ahead. You're not looking down, you're not looking up. Maybe you're looking at your workout partner. You're looking good. Doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you've got about 20 more seconds. Keep going. Now think about what you can refine this time. Really think about how can you make this even better than the first circuit. You've got a chance here to do it even better than you did before. Just 10 more seconds. and break. Got 15 seconds of break, shake it out. Kind of feeling like that one leg is a little tight. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Set it up, make sure you're in good form, and start. 45 seconds on the clock, down and up. Now you might notice that each side feels a little bit different, right? Maybe you have one side that feels stronger than the other, that's okay. Do you have a stronger side, Reese? Uh, I'd say my right side's a bit stronger. Yeah. I think, I think my right, probably a lot of people, you know, your right side's your dominant side. That's okay. We're gonna keep working in this kind of, you know, one side at a time to try to even that out. 
Keep breathing. You've only got 10 more seconds here. And then we're gonna pick up the pace a little. All right, 15 seconds rest, and we're gonna go into squat thrusts. Now remember, you know what's coming, so don't start to get, you know, all excited. You can take these nice and slow. Five more seconds of rest. We're gonna drop down. Here we go, squat thrust. Hands down, back, and stand and squeeze at the top. Now you hear us, we're exhaling at the top. That's actually a really good thing to do. Every time you stand up, make sure that you breathe out. Really squeeze. Remember, you can take these as slow as you want. You can even hold here in your plank for just a minute. Really feel tight here. Jump forward, stand. And three, two, and one. All right, shake it out. You got that 15 seconds. Breathe in and out really big. How are you feeling? Whew, definitely tired. All right, good. We're going into our forearm plank reach. So come on down and reach it out. One arm in front, one arm in front. Just tapping, nice and light. Now, as you're here, really think about keeping your abs pulled in. Think about engaging your glutes. Think about not sinking into your shoulders. You're staying nice and tall. Your gaze is right out where you want your hands to touch. So you're keeping your neck nice and long. How are you feeling, Reese? Oh, I'm feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep going. You've only got five more seconds here. You can do this, guys. Here we go. And rest. 15 seconds, and we're gonna go into froggers. Ooh. This is the toughest move, do you think? Yeah, definitely. I think this is the hardest, so hang in with us there. We're gonna try to motivate you. Froggers, here we go. From a high plank, and you're jumping forward. And land. Back and forward. Each time you do this, Really think about letting your, your butt drop toward the ground. It's not the most elegant move, but you should really be feeling this in your core, in your glutes, in your shoulders, and you're definitely getting some cardio in here too. Only 10 more seconds. All right guys, here we go. Just a few more seconds, keep it going. Don't stop now. Three and two. You got this. One. All right, take a break. Woo. Shake that out. We're actually going to go right back down to the ground. I just needed to shake out my legs for a minute. <laughs> and we're going to go into tuck ups. This is your last move of the circuit. Here we go. In three, two, one. All the way back and bring it up. Back and up. Remember, you're pulling in your abs. It's kind of easy after that last one, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Think of this as like an active recovery. <sighs> Exhale each time you come up. And really think about your form here. I know it's the end of the circuit. I know you're tired, but just hang in with me. Really think about pulling in your abs each time, sitting up straight. <sighs> You've only got 15 more seconds, and then you get some sweet, sweet rest. <laughs> You've got this, guys. Keep going. You can do it. Get in one more rep with me, just one more, and you're done. All right, you've got 60 seconds of rest. Take some water. We're gonna be right here. We're gonna take some water, and we're excited to start circuit three with you in just a few seconds.
All right, let's get right into this. We're gonna do circuit three. All right, we're gonna start again with those stationary lunges. You know what's coming. We've got three, two, and one. Here we go, down and up, guys. This is your third circuit. So I know you're tired, I'm tired. Are you tired, Reese? I'm definitely tired. Okay, we're all tired, that's okay. All you have to do is keep moving through this. Don't think about it, just move. Just keep moving, down and up. Think about, are your abs pulled in? Are your shoulders back? Are you looking straight ahead? Are you thinking about whatever you're gonna do when this workout is over? I don't know, you've only got 20 seconds left. Just keep moving through it. Think about really squeezing your glutes each time you come up, really engaging your core here. And by the time you've run through that checklist, you're pretty much done. And we've got rest. Take a break, shake it out. Shake that leg out, shake it out. Kind of feeling like that one leg is a little tight. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Set it up. And let's get started, down and up. Cool. Think about, you know, keeping your abs tight this entire time. Think about, you know, is your knee right over your ankle? If it's not, make an adjustment. This is your time. This is your workout. You want to make sure you're getting the most out of it. Think about what your back leg is doing. Are you really getting down to 90 degrees every single time? Keep moving. You've only got 15 seconds left. I know you can do this. Reese, you've got this. Let's keep going. In five seconds, you can take a break. Four, three, two, and one. Take a break, shake it out. Now we're gonna pick up that pace a little bit. We're going into the squat thrust. You know what this is like. You've got only five more seconds of rest here. So let's get right into it. We're gonna come down to the mat and jump it back. So down, jump it out, and forward. Stand up, squeeze at the top. Down, out, forward. Stand and squeeze at the top. As you're doing this, take some time to check in with yourself. Are your shoulders over your wrists? Are your abs pulled in each time you jump back? Are you really squeezing your glutes at the top? Are you breathing? Keep breathing. These exercises get a whole lot harder if you stop breathing. Don't hold your breath. You've only got 10 more seconds here. Remember, this time is for you. This is your workout. Whew, so make it count. Here we go. One more. And take a break, shake it out, enjoy that rest. Breathe in deep, really fill up your lungs, really feel expansive, and take that rest. You earned it. We're gonna come right back down in a minute and we're gonna get started. We're going into our forearm plank reach. So come on down and reach it out. One arm in front, one arm in front, just tapping. Nice and light. Forward, forward. Are you breathing? Are you breathing at home? Reese, are you breathing? I'm definitely breathing. All right. Keep your abs pulled in. Think about keeping your hips low. Woo. Feeling this one. Only about 15 more seconds, and then you get a break. All right, keep going. You've only got five more seconds here. You can do this, guys. Here we go, and rest. 15 seconds, and we're gonna go into froggers. Ooh. This is the toughest move, do you think? Yeah, definitely. I think this is the hardest, so hang in with us there. We're gonna try to motivate you. Froggers, here we go, from a high plank, back and forward, back and forward. I'm gonna show you on an angle what this looks like from here. So you're in your high plank, and you are jumping forward, you are jumping your feet wide on the outside of your hands and really trying to get your tailbone down toward the ground, really trying to sit up straight. Think like you're super proud in your chest. And then back and forward, same thing. Pause here. You can always take this, bring your hands up and really take a second to breathe. Back and forward. You've only got 10 seconds left. Reese, how are you feeling? Feeling good. All right. Keep it going, guys. You've got this. Only three more seconds, and then you get to break. Give me one more rep. You've got it. Whew, shake it out. 
I like to shake out my legs for a minute. You know we're gonna go back down to the floor. We've got tuck ups. In five seconds, it's the last move of this circuit. Don't stop now, guys. Here we go. 45 seconds, bring it on up. And down, and bring it up. Whew. All right, now if you're starting to feel tired at all, just keep reminding yourself, you can do this for 30 seconds. That's all you have left right now, 30 seconds. You can do anything for 30 seconds, right, Reese? Definitely. Just about. <laughs> you can think of, all, think of how quickly 30 seconds has gone by in your life before. This is no different. It's gonna be over before you know it. Just keep moving. 15 more seconds, guys. Hang in with us. Pull in your abs. Think about really elongating your spine, really looking forward, really keeping your abs pulled tight. And one more rep and you've got it. Woo, that's it. Round three, done. Take a break, get some water, towel off. And then we've got to do this just one more time. Woo. Okay, here we go. Get on up. You've got about 15 more seconds of rest here. And then guess what? It's round four. This is it. This is your final round. Really give it your all. We know you're tired. We're tired too. Stationary lunges. Here we go. In three, two, one. Down and up. You've been here before, but this is the last time. So really think about this time. What can you do to make it even better? What can you do to really just make this move the best yet? If you are tired and you are wobbling, keep that core tight. That's gonna help stabilize you. That's gonna help make sure that you're just going straight up and down as if there's a string running all the way up your spine. Just keep moving. You've only got 20 more seconds and then guess what? You're done with this move forever. Well, maybe not forever. Maybe you'll do the workout again. <laughs> we hope you do it again. Just keep going, guys. You've only got 10 more seconds. And then you can kiss this move goodbye and take a break. Breathe through it and shake it out. Woo! Now again, this is your last chance to do this move. Really think about what can you do. It's your final round, guys. Here we go in three, two, and one. Down and up. If you feel wobbly, think about pulling that core really tight. Think about controlling your breathing. Breathing out and breathing in in a really even way. Your gaze is straight ahead. That's gonna help keep your balance. You're smiling because we like working out. Right, Reese? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. You've only got 20 more seconds right here. Keep bending your knees and you are almost there. Squeeze those glutes. You guys have got this. Only five more seconds and then you get a 15 second rest. Three, two, one, finished. And that's it, that's the lunges. We're gonna go into squat thrust now. So keep warming up, keep those shoulders moving. Five seconds of rest, and then we're gonna jump it back. Three, two, one, down and back, down, back. Stand up and squeeze at the top. Now if you have been taking this slowly, and you know this is your last round, it's time to really go for some speed here. If you have been holding back, don't hold back on us anymore. Keep it moving. If you've been stepping back, maybe try jumping back this time. Just keep moving, guys. Woo, we only got 15 seconds left. How you doing, Reese? Feeling good. All right. Keep moving. Breathe it out in three. Two, one, take your break. Woo. Shake it out, get ready. You've got about 10 seconds to set up for the next move. Take it down to the floor. We're gonna do the forearm plank reach out. So, Reese is gonna get into a forearm plank position. In three, two, one, forearm plank reach out. 
Right arm forward, left arm forward. Are you breathing? Are you breathing at home? Reese, are you breathing? I'm definitely breathing. All right. Keep your abs pulled in. Think about keeping your hips low, parallel to the ground. Think about trying to hold your hips really steady. You're not rocking back and forth here. Really holding steady. Give me some of the best reps that you've given this entire workout, because it's your last circuit. You've only got 10 more seconds. Hang in here with me. I know it's challenging. Challenging is good. Two, one, take a break. Whew. Lean it on back. Take some big deep breaths, get expansive, open up your chest. We're gonna go into froggers, coming up in three, two, and one. From your plank, jump it forward and back, forward. This is your last time doing froggers. It is round four, so don't hold back. Get tired, if you aren't tired already. Keep jumping, move it a little faster if you can. Make that hop a little bit quicker. You've only got about 20 more seconds here. Woo! All right, only 10 more seconds. Keep it going. Don't stop now. Think about getting tall. And one. Last rep. Woo! Take a deep breath. Stretch your legs out. I know mine need to stretch out. And we're going into tuck ups. This is it, last move. Don't stop now. 45 seconds on the clock. So here we go, 45 seconds on the clock. Down and up, don't think about it, just keep doing it. Here we go. Woo! Final move of the circuit, keep going. You've got less than 45 seconds. How are you feeling, Reese? I'm feeling tired. All right, think about sitting up straight every single time. Think about keeping your abs pulled in nice and tight. Definitely through the halfway point on your workout. <laughs> keep going. And that's it, time, woo! Take a breath. You have earned this at home. Take a deep breath. Get some water. We're not quite done yet. We have a chipper. We have a burnout. It's gonna be fun, but take a break. All right, great job. You just finished round four. Let's stand it on up because you've got a chipper. So what's a chipper? We're gonna put four minutes on the clock you're gonna do 40 jump squats, 30 plank taps, 20 butterfly sit-ups, 10 burpees, and then you're gonna hold a forearm plank for whatever time you have left over. It is fast and furious. The point of this is to get out every last bit of energy, leave it all on the floor. Okay, are you ready for this? Sure. We're gonna be right here with you the whole time, so stay with us. Four minutes on the clock, 40 jump squats, let's go. Here we go. Don't be afraid to take your squats down. You don't have to jump all of them out. Maybe you do 10 here. And maybe you do 10 up again. Stay with us. Whew. I'm moving all over the place, that's okay. Keep going, don't stop. I think I'm up to 35. I'm almost at 40. I'm gonna go right into plank tap ups. These are single count. So that's one, two, three. Okay, just keep moving. Think about your form here. I know you're moving fast. I don't want you to move so fast that you lose all of your form. That's 30. Butterfly sit-ups, here we go. Feet are together, 
Arms overhead coming all the way up. Touch beyond your toes. You've got 20 of these. You can treat this a little bit like an active rest. You are more than halfway through this chipper. Keep breathing. If you're like us, you're looking forward to that forearm plank. It's like the light at the end of the tunnel. Don't stop. Really use your abs here. Make every rep count. If you feel yourself sliding back, pull your feet toward you again, readjust, keep going. These reps only count if you've got good form. What are we up to, Reese? Got five more. All right, five more, here we go. That's five. Stay with us, you can do this. I know you've got this strength. We're gonna come up on burpees here. Just one more rep, and then, then this is it. Your burpees, 10 of them. Let's do it. Hand release at the bottom, and jump at the top. Hands come up, chest is on the ground. Don't stop moving now. Don't stop now. You are so close to that finish line. Whew. Come on, make these burpees count. Let's go, you've only got one more. If you've been staying with us, whew, stand all the way up. We're gonna take that into a forearm plank. Here is your endurance challenge. You are gonna hold this forearm plank. We got about a minute left on the clock. This is it. Just keep breathing. You can do this at home. I know you can. You've been training for the last 30 minutes. It's all been leading to this. Hold that plank. Take deep breaths. You've only got about 30 seconds left. Remember what I said? You can do anything for 30 seconds. How you doing, Reese? Ooh, feeling it. Almost right. there, almost there. Almost there. You can do this at home. You can keep doing this with us. I know you've got this. Team self, you are so close. Just keep breathing. Pull those abs in. Make sure your shoulders are nice and square. And five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Woo. Come right back in to a nice child's pose. Let it all go. Take some deep breaths. Feel that heart rate come down. Sit on up and let's get started with an easy cool down. You guys earned it. So you're gonna come forward into a plank and immediately push back into a down dog. Just really stretching out your hamstrings here, really stretching out the back of your legs. Thinking about pushing your hips high to the ceiling. Feeling that nice stretch. It's not about getting your heels down to the ground. It's just about stretching your legs. And then very slowly, you're gonna swing your right foot forward. Come into this low lunge. You've been here before. This was just like your warm up. Now you're gonna drop your left knee and just kind of sit on up. Feel this nice stretch and your hip flexor here. Be careful not to collapse all the way forward. You're gonna keep your abs tight. You're gonna keep your hips square, really just to feel the stretch here. Maybe rock forward a little bit. This should feel really good after that workout. Now you're gonna lean back on your left knee, coming into a half split, feeling the stretch on the right side of your leg. Fold over your right leg. And now really keep your back straight here. There's no arching over, right? Whatever your flexibility allows. Maybe you come down, maybe you're right here. Use your hands on the floor for support. Take some time, really move around here. Feel good, feels, feels good. Get gooey with it. <laughs> really stretch. And when you're ready, just come forward again. And you're gonna lift that back knee. Again, take a second here. Rock forward and back in this nice low runner's lunge. If your flexibility allows, maybe you come down onto your forearms. You can make little circles. Really just relaxing. 
And when you're ready, come on up. Lightly bring that right foot back. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Bring your left foot forward. Rock forward and back. And when you're ready, bring that right knee down to the floor, gently. Come on, sit up. Feel that stretch on your right hip flexor. Again, we're not collapsing down. This isn't like, see how far you can lean forward. It's really about feeling that stretch here, keeping your hips in line, keeping your abs pulled in. Rock back and forth a little bit. And when you're ready, just lean back, come into that half split. You're flexing your foot, and then you can kind of take a deep breath, hinge at the hip, and come right over. Again, maybe you're here, maybe you stop right here. Maybe this is enough. Maybe right here is enough for you. Wherever you are, that's good. But just take another second, move around, Really feel all that tension letting go out of your body. And when you're ready, put your left foot down. Pick up your right knee. And again, hang out here for a second. If you want, maybe you come down to your forearms. If you did it on the other side, try to stay even. You can make circles with your hips. Just taking some nice cleansing breaths. And when you're ready, come back up to your hands. Come back to your plank, just for a second. Slowly lower your knees to the ground. And now we're just gonna swing our legs around to the front. And we're just gonna do a quick figure four stretch. This is one of your favorites, right? Definitely. This one should feel really good for everybody. So you can stay right here, foot is flexed, and uh, your knee is open, you should feel a nice release in your hips. This is especially good if you hang out at a desk all day. You spend a lot of time sitting. This is really gonna help open up your hips. You can be like Reese over here and lean all the way back if, that, if your flexibility allows. If not, you can just stay sitting, sitting up. When you're ready, we're gonna do the other side. Again, maybe you're here. Keep this foot nice and flexed. That helps protect your knee. You can kind of use your left elbow to push this thigh open a little bit more. Really feel a stretch there. Again, breathing in and out. Keeping your back nice and straight. You did it. You really did this whole workout. All right, one final stretch. Put both legs in front of you. Hands up over your head. Take a deep breath and exhale as you fold forward all the way. And when you're ready, come on, sit up, roll up one vertebra at a time and give yourselves a round of applause because you did it. You just did a 30 minute workout and we are so proud of you. Thank you so much for doing this 30 minute boot camp workout with us. If you liked it, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more workouts like this. I'm Amy and this is Reese, and we hope to see you back here again real soon. Bye team self.